play. Hope you're ready for a daddy daughter day. Uh. Yeah. Daddy daughter day, girl, what up? what up? Right now, we can go anywhere you want up. Yeah. Roller skating ring to the movies, chilling at the house. Maybe later on, we can go get a banana flow. Mm. Yeah, cause that's really tasty. We can be lazy. Stop and smell the daisy. Do what you want. Me and you in the car. Go play in the arcade or shop at the mall. Hope you are ready for a wonderful day. It's on the outside, hope you are ready to play. When your mama asks you how your day went, you gon' tell her daddy be your favorite. Sun is going down now, get into your jammy. Yeah. Bedtime concert, performing at your Grammy. Close your eyes and now it's sleepy time. Tomorrow we go press for wine. Daddy 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 daughter day, it's a daddy daughter day, and the sun is so much brighter when it's smiling on your face. Homies call to hit the bar, tell them try another day. Rather be right where you are, you can pick your favorite place. We can hit the museum, life is science, you see them animals and zoos even recognize the beauty. And your smile as it radiates, you hide and we play and chase. Even if we doing nothing, it's time we can never wait. Tell mommy we go and play, it's me and you on a date. Hope nobody told mommy for dinner, we all the cake with ice cream and chocolate, Lion King. Watched it at least a hundred times just so you can hear him say Hakuna Matata, this what we do with our daughters And a salute to the fathers doing it all to provide a model of who you should follow Promise to guide you on where to go It's a daddy-daughter day, bruh, fatherhood is dope Well, all right, that is Daddy Daughter Day with Pierce Freeline. All right. Hey. Perfect for Father's Day that's coming up. will be June 20th of 2021. Thank you for that track, Pierce Freeline. Thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thanks for listening. Welcome, everyone. Thank you all for listening in. Or let's jazz it up. Here I am, your host with the most here on air. And phone lines are open. You know my guest line number. I have with me an award, Emmy Award winning Pierce Freeline here on my platform today. Welcome, Pierce. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Where are you calling from? Yes. Where are you calling from? I'm I'm calling from Durham, North Carolina. I was born and raised here in the South, and I'm calling from my hometown. All right, hometown fans out there. I have a great guy on, on my show. Call in and give him a, a good shout out. He is a very inspirational songwriter in uh, hip hop. Very inspirational. Uh, Pierce, uh, Daddy Daughter Day, what's the story behind that track there? What inspired you to do that one? Well, you hear my daughter Stella's voice on the track. Uh, she's my inspiration. And, oh. you know, just being a parent, I've been a musician for, you know, almost 15 years now. Uh, and when I became a parent, uh, the 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 aspects of fatherhood kind of trickled through my pen and into my music. And it's such a joy being a dad. I've got two kids, uh, Justice and Stella. And they're both very creative and love to collaborate. And really, when COVID-19 hit and uh, I was at home a lot and working uh, (laughs) and producing from home, 
the kids kind of, you know, jumped onto the microphone and, and we got to collaborating together. It was really special. Great. Great. Thank you for that information. Wow. So as we move along in the show, uh, Pierce Freeline, introduce yourself to our curious listeners out there. How long have you been doing uh, the hip-hop music and writing music? Uh, go right ahead. Sure. Well, uh, I was, as I mentioned, born and raised here in Durham to uh, two very creative parents. My father was an architect. He was uh, the, the the person who designed the, the Smithsonian Museum of African American History and Culture, uh, but he was also somebody who loved James Brown and Earth, Wind & Fire and The Temptations, and so there was a uh, vinyl records spinning constantly in my household. Okay. And his wife, my mother, Nina Freelon, my dad's name was Phil Freelon. He passed away at, uh, in 2019. But his wow. his wife, my mom, uh, Nina Freelon, is a jazz vocalist and yeah. uh, six-time Grammy nominee. And so I just grew up in this incredibly musical household. Wow. And it came it came naturally to me. My my mom, as I mentioned, was in jazz, but what I listened to was hip hop. I was a huge yeah. fan of. L, of LL Cool J and Public oh. Enemy and Queen Latifah <laughs> and um, that's what I that's what I love listening to and when I got in high school and, and then in college uh, I was writing rhymes and poems to <laughs> you know the people I wanted to date I would write them a little rap let them know how I felt about them uh, but oh. you know when I, when, I, when I became a parent um, as I mentioned that my writing shifted from, you know, what a 20, 19, 20 year old writes about to what a, a, a young father and husband in his mid twenties writes about, which is, you know, which is family, which is community. Um, so that's, that's how my music has shifted as I've aged and matured over the years. Wow. Well, thank you for that information. Wow. As I researched and uh, read your biography, you, um, You've been on the Today Show. Uh, also, for over 16 years, you have traveled the world teaching hip-hop and music production to youth in the community centers. That's that's awesome. And you're the co-founder of Beat Making Labs and an Emmy Award-winning PBS web series. And also, um, you're the writer, composer, and co-director of an animated series called History of White People in America. And you're an official selection of the Tribeca Film Festival. You also uh, on the city council there in your city? Yep, so I'm Durham City Council member, sure I am. Yes, yes, you're a busy man. So um, <laughs> <laughs> you're a busy man. So as we move along in the show, we want to talk, mention Black to the Future LP that you got out. What is the inspiration behind Black to the Future? What gave you the title of that album? What was going through your head to create this uh, yeah. uh, this creation of yours, this project? Well, thank you for the question. Um, you mentioned that, um, or I don't know if you mentioned it, we talked maybe before the interview about Father's Day is coming up on, on June yeah. 20th. And the okay. day before that is, is Juneteenth, which is a yeah. annual yeah. time every year where we recognize uh, the Black freedom struggle and, and um, black, emanci- black folks' emancipation. So to me, both of those things, you know, being a father, um, celebrating black history, both of those things speak to something called Afrofuturism. And Afrofuturism is basically just like the reimagining of the future filled with arts and science and technology through a black lens. And yeah. my album, Black to the Future, that's exactly what it is. It's, it's young people, it's elders. Um, speaking Black futures into existence, just like our ancestors did. Um, you know, we need to do the same thing and to call a better future into being uh, for ourselves. We saw that Harriet did that back in her day. She was calling mm-hmm. for freedom. Martin Luther King did that back in his day when there was segregation. He had a dream of a different future. So for me, um, Black to the Future is about living in that legacy and calling in to being the future that we want to see for our children. 
Now, you mentioned Afrofuturism. Can you elaborate with that? Yeah, Afrofuturism is just, you know, it's imagining and reimagining a future through a black lens. Right. So, you know, that th- that's, you know, that's Octavia Butler, who's a black woman science fiction writer. That's Parliament Funkadelic with the mothership. That's yeah. Sun Ra with Space is the Place and Janelle <laughs> Monet. There's just such this rich tradition of black folks um, envisioning and, and creating the future. And I count myself among those. Wow. Well, well, thank you for that information. So as we move along, uh, you have uh, a couple of singles that I, I want to spend on air, uh, especially LaVar Burton. Now, what inspired you to do a song about LaVar Burton? What is the story behind that? Well, uh, speaking of Afrofuturism, here is a brother who taught us so much through the different roles that he played. For those, for those listeners who may not be aware of who LeVar Burton is, um, LeVar Burton was the actor who played Kunta Kente in the yeah. series The Roots. There's that book, Roots, by Alex Haley. They made a series about it in the 70s. My grandma had the box set. She made me and my brothers and sisters watch the whole thing. <laughs> and um, it's one of the most influential um, television series of all time. Uh, he was also the host of a, of a PBS show called yeah. Reading Rainbow. And yeah. a lot of the books from my childhood, Mufaro's Beautiful Daughters and Black authors like Pat Cummings. She had a book called Jimmy Lee Did It. I learned all about these books from watching Reading Rainbow, which was hosted by LeVar Burton. And then, of course, there was Star Trek, The Next Generation. Yeah. LeVar played a, uh, played a man who was blind, uh, who was the engineer of the starship, uh-huh. uh, who went by Jordy LaForge. And so anyway, there you go. You got your past with the roots. You got your present with uh, Reading Rainbow. You got your future with, um, yeah, with okay. Star Trek. And this man just inspired so much of my childhood. I grew up in the 80s, and he was just a a hero of mine. So I wanted to make a song for children and families today to give him his flowers while he can still smile and to honor his contributions to American film and television. Wow. Thank you for that information. Wow. So may I ask you, did Mr. Burton comply with the uh, single that is streaming now? Yeah, he did. Uh, so a couple weeks ago, uh, <laughs> I put the music video out, and uh, he 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 liked my tweet, and I said, "Uh oh, he liked my tweet." Okay. <laughs> and then a couple days later, he posted it on his Facebook, he put it on his Instagram, he put oh. it everywhere. So oh, he uh, he definitely acknowledged it and, okay. and told me he loved it, and so okay. that was a dream come true. That is awesome. Wow. Well, congratulations, Pierce. Wow. Thank you. Great job. Great job. So as we uh, quit yapping here, I'm going to go ahead and play LaVar Burton. You stay in that high seat, Pierce. We'll be right back. All right. I can teach you how to fly like an angel. Butterflies in the sky reading rainbow Close your eyes, take flight like LeVar Traveling space time with LeVar Open up a book like a flower Ride it like a boat, you can travel You are your ancestors while the stream like LeVar Impossible is not a thing, ask LeVar Did you know your mind is a muscle? Your body is a shrine and a temple You are super special You could learn a skill or a hustle Earn a dollar bill or a fossil Archaeological Seek knowledge and understanding Read everything in the canon Learn to love and to dream and support And sincerely your uncle, Bob Burton You taught us how to read hymns, hominin Taught us how to fight slavery, Romulan can teach you how to rise like your ancestors. Send Kofa look back to find the answers. Yeah. You are African inside like LeVar. Look at how we thrive past LeVar. On a quest for love in a bad spot. Roots kept us grounded in black thought. 